Oh. Protect me. Oh. Almost died there. I came very one shot from death. I think that's the last Thorian node there. Probably only one more node, maybe one or two. So much XP from this. Oh, bomb. as I'm shooting. Uh, one more. And this level is action packed, don't I tell you that? Whew. When I say action packed, this level is shock.
Oh, we got contact. There we go. <sighs> Another one? I'm free. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Mm-hmm. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers, and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his Geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Where is the Cypher? How do I get it? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let I don't know if this is going to end well or not. I can't remember. <laughs> reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity.
Awkward. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. A knowledge bond can be very traumatic. Are you all right, Commander Shepard? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly. There's none left. Played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. Renegade. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. Renegade. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Just not here. Okay, we can't talk to these people, right? We'll be gone as soon as a transport arrives. Well, you killed it. At least that's something. But there are so many of us gone. All right, well, it looks like we're done here. Let's go ahead and return to the ship, I guess, right? Um, this guy still isn't back here, is he? No, they're gone. They're probably dead. I bet you that's what was wrong with his wife. It was something with the Thorian mind meld thing going on. Not the water's up and running. <laughs> There's just nobody to use it. Um, I'm gonna go all the way back to the ship on foot. There's the ship. Some of these renegade choices are truly renegade in Mass Effect 1. That's one of the strengths, is those bad decisions, those renegade decisions are definitely harsh and costly. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... Pale, are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? 
I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. <laughs> I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Make it fast. Time's a wasting. Mind meld. So how many people are we going to meld minds with here? Embrace eternity. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. <laughs> what you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Are we gonna hang up on the Council again? Is this some <laughs> kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? Don't piss me off, and I won't disconnect you. You don't make demands on us, Shepard. Spectres answer to the Council, not the other way around. You need to back off and let me do my job. Of course, Commander. We received your files on Pharos. Things would have been much easier if Exogeny had told you about the Thorian. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. <laughs> yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. The Thorian enslaved and killed innocent civilians. Yes, I'm sure you're correct, Commander. It's unfortunate the colony couldn't be saved. I'm surprised, Shepard. Ferris was a human colony. I thought you'd go to any lengths to save your own kind. The mission comes first. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made, Commander. I'm glad you understand that. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Uh, more Renegade. Very good, very good. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and head out now. Cut the stream here. I'm going to go have some lunch. Next time when we come back, we're probably going to talk to all of our squad mates. Check in with them and see if they have anything to report. And until then, I'm going to go ahead and log off. So anyway, guys, my name is Free Nachos. Thanks once again for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.